up YouTube, how's everybody doing today? Welcome back to another episode of Rick Scale RC. Thanks for tuning in and joining me. Um, today what we're working on is we're working on this Jeep again. Uh, I finally had it with the rockers and, and the body popping out. It, it drives me crazy. And then uh, it's even starting to kind of bugger up my paint job down there at the bottom. So I had to do something to prevent it from getting any worse and also to hide it at this point you know because now you can see the red underneath of it um, so I looked into my options and you know the options that are out there are expensive if you want a good set of metal ones you're gonna spend a hundred dollars and to be honest with you guys I, I might be losing this body I, I'm, I, I think I might want to go for a hard body There's lots of options out there. Um, there's companies that are making 3D printed bodies. I think I might... I, I'm not even going to tell you what I'm thinking about because I'm not sure what's going on yet. So we're just going to wait on that. But yeah, I'm thinking about going hard body. So I don't think I want to keep investing the money. into. You know, I don't want to buy rocker specific rockers for this body if, if I'm going to be losing it. You know, you know, follow me. So, I decided I got to do something on the cheap. We got to just make this go away. Cheap, cheap, cheap. So, I had some styrene layer laying around. Uh, it was uh, .060. So, it's, it's kind of what I have the most of. It seems to be what I, I work with the most. And then I also use... Uh, Sorry, I was trying to find out what it was. But, yeah, I'll use 080 for uh, some things, especially if I'm making something where I'm going to stack pieces and actually shape something. You know, it, it takes a lot less of it. You know, you got to cut less strips to stack. So, with that being said, I used .060, and I basically what I did was, and, and you'll see in the video... I taped a piece of paper onto the side of the body and just used, you know, the old elementary art school trick and just held my pencil on the side and ran it down the side of the body to give me my door jam lines. Once I had those, I made a paper template. Once I got that fitting perfect exactly the way I wanted it, I moved my template over to the styrene, we cut it out of styrene. And I, oh, I pretty much got my shape where it was close enough and I was happy. And then we attached it. Uh, if you see here, it is slightly off on my on the door jams down here. So it, it's, it's still going to get some finished sanding and filing to, to, you know, work it into perfection. And then we'll throw a nice coat of flat black paint on it. We I did replace the floorboard bottoms as well too. We, we completely took these off and I made a new bottom piece and then the rocker piece. And uh, you know it's I did a little bit of testing with some toys in, in the dining room and uh, it's working well it, it, it didn't pop out at all. I did the same thing I was doing, you know, before I started, and, and it was popping out, and it doesn't do it now, so I'm happy. Uh, the only thing is, it's not as easy to get on and off, and and I can't see it being much different if I would have bought some. You know, if I would have bought them, you still got to do the same thing, because they're, they're the same thing. I mean, they're, they're pretty similar to w what's out there. Uh, you know, you, you kind of got to reach in the wheel wells here and just push the body out to get it to go between those existing nubs and the new rockers. Or the new rocker clads or body, whatever you want to call them. But once it's in, it's in. It's pretty good. It works out good. So uh, I'm going to get some finished sanding done. Uh, we're probably going to cut it down here 
a little bit. I'm not going to take it up that high. Cut it back in the back as well. And then once we get everything worked out and they're perfect, we'll throw a coat of paint on them, pop them back on, and then uh, I'll bring you guys back in to see the finished product. Alright, catch you guys soon. What's up guys, we're back. So we got the rockers painted. I'm pretty happy with them. Got the holes countersunk, so the screws sit down flush. And I just had it outside. You know, we were playing, playing with it in the snow and uh, they didn't pop out once, so I'm happy with it. It serves its purpose, and it costed me next to nothing. I mean, I really would have liked to buy a nice set for it, but I, I, the set I want is 100 bucks, and I couldn't see spending that $100. It's, it's a lot of money to spend for, for that, you know? Um, you can practically buy all the electrics and drivetrain for one of these for $100. To spend it on these body cladding is, I, I, I don't know, I just couldn't see that. Um, and like I had mentioned before, I, I think I might want to go with a hard body. I spoke to, we didn't really speak, but there was a guy in the comments who made it a comment about uh, how he was building an extra speed Jeep JK. And how it was a nice kit and he was building it. So, I had heard of them, I had seen them before. But I never really, you know, like, looked into it. So I started looking into it, and what you get for that money, I think I'm just going to go that route, you know, at some point. So I didn't want to spend the $100 on these because I'm not going to need them, at, you know, eventually. I just, uh... Like I told you guys, you know, I, I own one-to-one -one Jeeps, so this was this was something I really wanted to do. I really wanted to build a Jeep, but uh, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think in the comments, but I, I feel like this Lexan body is, is extra flimsy. It, it, it's almost, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's, I don't know. You know, it does have this long flat side and the flat top. You know, most cars have some contours and curves and body lines to help kind of keep that body rigid. And there's just nothing on these to do that. So, I, maybe that's why it's so flimsy. But, this was going to be something that I built and then, like, kept forever. You know, I, I really wanted to build, like, something close to my one-to-one -one with just a... A small lift kit on it, some wheels and tires, the bumper, the winch, you know, the jack and a snorkel, and then, you know, I wanted it to look like something that you just packed up on the weekends and went and did some camping with and, and hit a few trails with. Nothing serious, nothing, you know, not a crazy off-road rock crawler, just something simple. So I'm thinking, you know, I plan on keeping it forever, so why not start with a better a better body just you know get the hard body something that comes w with a full interior and and that's the other thing I love building the interiors I really enjoy working with styrene so I was looking forward to building an interior for this but that'll be the the, the trade-off you know because I, I enjoy that stuff so I was looking forward to that so the fact that this comes with a full interior that you just kind of assemble um, kind of takes away from it a little bit for me but that's okay because I could never match the detail that's going to come in this thing and um, I have some other things in the works and other things that I want to build so I'm thinking just get this hard body you know 
get it put together in the next couple months and, and get everything straightened out. And then that way I have a badass Jeep for the summer, you know, to whatever I decide to do this summer with it. Um, because if I start an interior on it, it it's it's going to take us into the summer getting it complete. Especially the fact that it's a, a four-door with the back and, and, and I planned on doing the whole interior like it would be on a real one so it was going to take some time so now I'm thinking maybe we'll just do this hard body with a full interior we'll get that painted up and assembled and on and then the Jeep's done and it's kick ass and it's something that'll last me forever and then I can work on these other projects that I have going on um, I have a truggy thing in the works, and then we also, you know, we still got the hot rod going, obviously. Um, I just have so many ideas with this. I've been, you know, just been going crazy with it. Uh, the snorkel. These were the pieces I showed you I was gluing together. The funky piece that was in the, you know, the black clamp. It's kind of shaped like this well that was so it could wrap around the fender comes up and then kinda of wraps around the body here but I made this piece first shaped that got that to fit made the top so it was nice and level when the truck was sitting on the ground then I shaped this piece then I glued all this together shaped this piece and then glued all three together and then um painted it uh, I got my eyes peeled for some kind of a screen or grate to put on the front. I think that'll help really kind of finish it off to put some kind of a mesh on the front here. But that's about it. That's what we did. Uh, you know, I figured I had the styrene stuff out, and not that it's hard to get to, but I had it all out, and I wanted to keep playing, so I went with a snorkel. But I'm really happy with the way the rockers came out. They work great. I just had it out in the snow blasting around and they didn't pop out not a once. So that makes Rick happy. And I didn't spend any money, you know, for the amount of styrene that's there and the glue that I used and the paint. I'm going to say that was a between a maybe maybe a $10 project if you have to go out and buy a brand new can of paint. I had paint on the shelf, I had styrene in the drawer, I had glue, you know, I, I had all the stuff. So it it technically didn't cost me anything, just a little bit of material that I already had. But if you wanted to do this, you know, you could probably go out and buy the smallest piece of 060 styrene you can find, which is the smallest ones uh, my hobby shop carries. I believe they're like 9 by 11, and it's like... I think it's like eight ninety nine for the O six O, which isn't you know it's not too bad. I've yet to find a place local to me that sells it in bulk. Uh, I am looking though, but this is not hard, guys. You can do this for sure. Um, like I showed you in the video, you know the the hardest part really is is getting your door jam lines, so you know what to follow but once you get that and you trace it onto the styrene cut it out this piece is just traced off of the original piece so there's there's nothing to it guys so anybody out there who's got this Jeep and is having that problem I know you're having it you can fix it, it doesn't take much and if you guys uh the other side but I'm real happy with it but the sun's still shining so I'm gonna get back out there with this thing and play for a little bit more um, thanks for watching thank you for all the new subscribers be sure to like comment and subscribe let me know what you think of it thanks again for watching guys have a good one Take care. I'll catch you on the next one.